Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex from Health Potion Studios. Has anyone played Balloon Fight for the NES? I never played it when I was a kid, but it's kind of fun to play now. Basic premise is that you are the child version of the old man from up, that's my headcanon by the way, and you fly around with balloons on your back. You fight off other balloon goblins by popping their balloons. It seemed simple enough for an AI to play, and it kind of was, which you'll see shortly. I used Python with the neat algorithm. I'll start with all of the funny attempts. A fail compilation can only get us so far. Let's look at some of the better attempts. The AI was coded to reset the level if it dies, or if 6 seconds passed without it scoring any points. At this point, I was starting to notice a pattern amongst the AI. It seemed to be doing okay, but I wanted to see it complete more levels. So, I increased the score timer to 15 seconds, and that had a mostly positive effect.
By now the pattern should be clear. Pick a direction and mash the A button to fly to the top of the screen and hope something will run into you before 15 seconds is up. Hitting an enemy resets the countdown, encouraging the AI to keep doing what he was doing. Honestly, I'm not really sure he learned much of anything. It was rare to see him even change directions once he got going. I let it run for another 60 generations and there was still zero improvement. Despite not having the most exciting gameplay, it's hard to argue that its strategy was inherently bad though. Staying at the top of the screen means enemies must come to you and you cannot get hit from above. Perhaps next time implementing some kind of penalty for staying at the top of the screen would have encouraged the AI to venture out more. Oh, right. Perhaps you are wondering how to implement this AI yourself. For that, you can check out my Mario World AI video. Any code in the description will be the Mario AI code, as the balloon fight code is roughly the same. So this was a shorter video today. I normally like my videos to be a little bit more technical, so please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this new format. And if you did, might as well leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, let me know in the comments if there's any games you'd like to see the AI play. I'm down to try anything, really. Well, I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.